興味の数だけテーマがあります。コーナン取りまぜ。海外へ。チェック。アンドチェック。イートーイというグループについてチェックします。まあ、えー、クリスマスです。トーイズ。おもちゃ。と思いきや、実はちょっと違う飛行なんですね。イートーイ。当然ですね製品を作ったりサービスを提供したりところがこのいいトーイが想像するのは文化的な価値一体どういうことなんでしょうか難しいぞ、えー、実はこの度日本上陸なんですちょうど東京の初代でカンファレンスのため来日中というアーティストザイさんにお話を伺いますこの方が最高経営責任者なんですねイートーイあのオンライン上でおもちゃを売るイートーイズとは違いますあの存在とは違うんですねスイスで法人格を認められたグループということです Welcome to the show ザイ and Merry Christmas よろしくお願いしますよろしくよろしくお願いします、タイさん。What are you doing in Japan now?、Um, Ito came to Tokyo for a show at the Entities Intercommunication Center in the Okra City Building. The show is called、uh, Credit Game. We also came to Japan to, or the actual reason was to、um, establish an Asia brand,、mm-hmm. branch, a first kind of、um, step into the Asia market because for a global corporation like Ito, It's important to expand and to、uh, explore new、um, levels.、Mm-hmm. Got it. Thank you very much for your time and please have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, you too. Dita Corporation likes to welcome you to this speech. And we also would like to thank everybody who helped us to make this venture possible. Especially our curator, Mr. Masuyama, and Mr. Gogota and his crew. They were Working with us during the night to set the show up. And we also would like to say thank you to Mr. Joey Shito, our angel investor, who helped us a lot. So, as you maybe heard, the Itoy Corporation、um, is producing many、uh, different things,、uh, virtual things, and trying to generate cultural value by. Changing people's perspectives and the way people perceive and,、uh, the internet and technology in general, but also the idea of value and transactions. Maybe you know that we,、uh, part of us is from Switzerland, it's a banking country, so the whole banking and money idea is、uh, interesting for us to work with. So,、um On one hand,、uh, the idea of、um, values, different values, is important to eToy. On the other hand, you have to understand that、uh, eToy share, what you see here, is not just one piece we produced、uh, for this exhibition. eToy share was conceived in、uh, 97, 98, and、uh, is for eToy the solution because eToy in 94, when we incorporated,、uh, decided、uh, be. Beside of other uh, uh, decisions like to leave reality behind, to emigrate to the internet, and so on, decided to not to sell anything, ju- just to work on the corporation, on the corporation idea, and on the brand, but not to transfer value. So we couldn't, we were not able to produce our pieces and sell them. But we needed in '98、uh, money for our operation, and we got.、Uh, The Austrian government at the end of 1997 wanted to buy something for the private collection of the chancellor. So, to solve this problem, so to be, for being able to, to get money from the chancellor who was interested in eToy, he was interested in the concept, he was interested in what eToy would do in the future, we decided to、uh, go public for this event. So, to divide the eToy corporation that had an abstract value, people wanted to buy or be part of. Into 640,000 units, so shares. And from this point on, we had a value we were able to sell.、Uh, we sold so we, at the IPO event in Vienna, we sold six, the first six ETO certificates to the counselor itself. Those shares, they are the panels that you see in the exhibition on the wall. So they are aluminium、uh, high resolution prints. 
representing some very special moments of the Ito history. Hier sehen Sie die Gründer der Ito Corporation. Diese sieben Personen bilden den Anfang unseres Unternehmens. But the most important thing is they are just holding a value. So what you see in the foreground, uh, the, the imprints saying how many shares uh, they represent, what the value is, uh, who bought them, when uh, the transfer occurred, and so on, are the, the real topic of the piece. So I was just trying to say those certificates hold the value. We have to imagine the Ito Corporation did performances like the digital hijack in 1995. We cannot develop now on the digital hijack, but it was a, a, uh, an action on the net where we kidnapped, hijacked 1.5 million people over the browser. Now this uh, piece, you can call it piece, or marketing uh, uh, action, or whatever uh, have, has a value, an implicit value, but you cannot uh, define it and you cannot sell it. But it depends on how people perceive the action, how uh, they perceive or they think about the power this action or these ideas have and so on and so on. And now this value is incorporated in the, in the shares. The core, kind of the center of our whole um, system is the eToy chart, where you can see the measurement um, of our value. And of course that's a provocative things, uh, thing to both sides. On one side the um, old-fashioned, as we call it, economic world that is kind of um, um, uh, surprised that artists come up with a chart and measure their value every day and, and, and describe it. But it's also very provocative of course for the art world, maybe even more, because art in the eyes of a lot of people shouldn't be um, uh, shouldn't be uh, so concrete and should not be expressed in numbers, especially not in dollars or yen. It's no secret that you know the art world. Es ist kein Geheimnis, dass die Kunstwelt korrupt ist. What Etoy does is says no, you know, art in our society may as well be the share of a stock. After the digital hijack in '96, you can see we had a, a crash. That also happens in the art world. Most of the time, the artists do not uh, do not um, promote it that much. But here, in our case, you see it very very good. We had a, a, a kind of a disaster situation, and we had to start and develop our whole concept again. Um, here, you see an important uh, element: the Etoy Toy War. The situation with Toy War was uh, the following: Etoys with an S. An American uh, toy retailer tried to take over our domain name and trademark. And our trademark is all we have. Our website name and uh, the, the corporate identity that is connected to that is our art piece or our artwork, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And during this fight with this American corporation, uh, the company offered us up to half a million dollars in cash. So at this point, the whole discussion about the value became very real. It was not just an art concept, abstract thing. It was real money laying on the table. The toy war in the end was financed by some investors that uh, bought shares in this very critical moment, but was possible and uh, indirectly financed by Ito Share because the community, the toy war community, or those people who assembled themselves and started to fight against and to interact, interact in our system against uh, this toy retailer in US uh, were paid or got uh, a certain amount of e-toy shares. So they, uh, we transferred 10%, 64,000 uh, shares to this uh, toy war fund. And in the end, those people, those uh, more than 1,000 sh uh, shareholders, were protecting their own property. So they're not working for us to, to defend or to defend our art or for some principle. But they were doing something very economical, very simple. Etoys was aggressing us with the money of their shareholders, and we were defending us with the money and the efforts, the work of our shareholders. During Toy War, uh, we had, we had, uh, we solved a real big problem. So before we were compared a lot of times with, let's say, business art of the 80s European business art, and uh, 
we had a problem with this, uh, this uh, com uh, similarity because we didn't felt like uh, we were similar uh, to them. And when Toy War happened, uh, somebody, a journalist, I think, uh, made a very smart uh, comment on this, uh, this comparison, said that uh, business art was, they were playing art back in the 80s. For example, in Gold Airlines, was they were putting a check-in booth at airports. <coughs> and confusing people coming in, but they were not real, they were not. Uh, what we did during Toy War, if you want to use the same uh, metaphor, is on one hand we play with images, but we do it for real. So we were, uh, if you use this, uh, this picture, we were fighting against a company for real landing and starting slots. So not in the, in the check-in area, but on the, on the reality of the, of the starting slot starting slots. And I will introduce quickly the last uh, uh, piece in this uh, row of uh, the certificate, the shares and so on. This is the Itoi Fizzle. The Itoi Fizzle is a subunit of Itoi Share. And uh, the difference to the Itoi Share, so one, uh, fizzle, one share is 50 fizzles. A fizzle is this uh, metal ball, this pachinko ball, Itoi branded pachinko ball we use here. And the main difference, or why we like it, why we did it, is it's so physical. It's like, and this is a, a topic Itoi uh, worked with since uh, a long time. So on one hand, we are very abstract, very, or you can call it digital. We prefer uh, abstract. Itoi share is just an idea. It's uh, numbers in a computer. Uh, we as agents are virtual. We said that we uh, will be virtual. We emigrate to the internet. At the same time, we appear in the real world in a very, very physical way. Here now with this subunit, you can really uh, feel the weight. You can uh, gamble with it in the machine and so on. You can uh, exchange it. And another uh, piece you will not see here now because it's uh, at customs, but it's in Japan, it's the Itoi tank. You saw the image, and this is real too. This is a 12 meter steel container we use to transport our exhibition stuff. You good, buddy. The Itoi Corporation modified, bought and modified cargo containers and calls them the Itoi tanks. <laughs> Wir befinden uns im Itoy Container Nummer 7. Es ist ein Teil des Hauptquartiers, zu 100% frei beweglich und daher völlig flexibel. Wir tauchen dort auf, wo es uns passt. Die Itoy Tanks sind Shipping-Container, die durch die Welt reisen, wie TCP-IP-Package. Also, es gibt eine große Logistik-Software hinter diesem Konzept und Idee. Wir senden die Cargo-Containers zu den Plätzen, where we need them, where we need to have offices, sound studios, hotels, or even daycare centers for the eToy education system. So you see eToy is trying to um, leave reality behind. A lot of people think that this is totally um, uh, just comedy or uh, a joke. <laughs> of course we play with irony, but at the same time we always prove that the things get very, very real, often much too, too real for a lot of people. Um, sometimes even for us, as we experienced here, the, the, all the problems we had with uh, customs. Um, but that's part of our artwork, that's our, uh, part of our process, how we generate things and how we challenge society. So now we go over to the second part, to the Ito share signing. Ito share signings are uh, normally uh, the moment when we handle over uh, certificates to investors. And this time we will uh, handle over a share certificate to Mr. Joito, who is an investor of Ito since a long time. This share certificate, as every other certificate, represents a special moment or a special element of the Ito history. So the share certificates, they are representing the Ito history. Um, This share certificate represents sea land. Itoi no kabuken っていうのは、えっと、itoi の歴史上のまあ大事な瞬間瞬間をいろいろ表してるんですけども、えっと、まあ一個一個写真も違うし、ちゃんちゃんと株株主の名前とか日付も入ってるんですね。で
93年頃からあのウェブやってて、えー、と95年かな,かなんかからインフォシークジャパンを立ち上げたんですけども、はいはい、で95年からアースエレクトロニカの審査員をやっていてで96年にイートイのデジタルハイジャックが出てきてでハイジャックされてたインフォシークだったんですよでインフォシークでマドナって検索すると<笑>一番上にイートイのマドナが出てきて実はインフォシークのエンジニアがそれ困ってて。<笑>でこれはどうやって退治しようかっていうので一方でやりながら審査員としてすごくおかしかったねなるほどねであの当事者だったわけですね当事者だ被害者だった被害者だった<笑>でそれでまあそう,そういう経緯もあってそれで結局96年でかなり議論されたんですね、ええ、あの彼らにそのファーストプライズを与えるときにやっぱり、はい、あのあの審査員の中でかなりハードコアなアーティストはこういうコマーシャルなやっぱお金とアートは離れておかなきゃいけないっていうバリアを超えてしまっていると僕はどっちかというとインターネットをメディアとして初めてのアーティストかなと思ってそれでまああの賞を与えてその後まあいろいろあの話をしてあのそういうあのオファーがあるというので出してますちょこちょこ出してるんですけどあのあのさっきのチャートを見ると一番安い時に投資してるんで<笑>一番困っている時にしかお金ないしなるほど。<laughs> Hi. He was buying e t o shares several times and he was buying them when the price, price was low. And of course, I mean, this is,、uh, this is very intelligent and、uh, he's a good businessman. But、uh, the, the most important de de detail for us is not that he is maximizing his、uh, earnings or his profit, but that we were able to survive because he was believing in the moment when the price was low. Our price, when we didn't have a big value, people were not believing in our concept and so on. He put the, the, the money to go on and to reach another peak. One of the side effects of this whole investing, investment game, it's not just about making things possible or、uh, finding money to, to、um, reach a certain point or to, to、um, do、uh, pro projects like this Tokyo venture here. Which is very exciting. It's also about participation. So we involve people into our concept. People are not just looking at our art in a museum, they are becoming part of the system by investing. So the investors are not just people who invest money, they are also employees, people like me and him, or our other crew members who are here, like Itoi Stamberger or Itoi Mir. Or Itoi Monorom, and also people who are not here、uh, today because they are working on sea land and、uh, in America, in Europe, in many different places. Basically, it's a game about the Itoi value and about the currency that is、um, the Itoi fizzles and the Itoi shares. We replace money, traditional money. We、uh, use it, use the shares as a,、uh, as a Placeholder, so to speak, for man hour, like our work, but also money that it,、uh, had to be um, um, organized to ship all the stuff over to Japan. <laughs> This、uh, interesting phenomena、um, about pachinko machines and the whole culture that is behind this.、Um, we saw, and after we、um, looked at this, Um, whole、uh, scene and this、uh, economy, we found out that it is kind of a strange way to introduce a new currency because gambling is not, there,、uh, gambling about money is not really legal. So it's kind of a stupid metaphor they use to uh, introduce um, uh, steel balls instead of、uh, coins, but we think that's very funny and playful. We were fascinated by that, and that's why we introduced it as a, as a metaphor for the whole gambling and risk and losing, winning、um, situation. For us, it's very、um, interesting to see that people have to gamble with cultural value. They have to gamble with our company. And、um, that's kind of a strange thing, of course, for the art world that you gamble with the artwork. You can lose it, or you can waste it, or you can.、Um, Speculate, keep the, keep the value and speculate on long term、um, revenues. And there is also a dividend machine that, is,、uh, that shows a whole other aspect of the Etoy Corporation. Etoy does not return financial dividends, 
We are about cultural profit. We promise in our business plan to maximize cultural profit. And we return natural dividends like CDs and T-shirts and things like that, promotion gadgets. Maybe we can try to uh, repeat the most important things that we want to play or want to reflect in this show and also in our whole work. One thing is that you can never have a look at the separate element of the eToy Corporation. That doesn't make that much sense. It's always the combination of many, many different things, as this map here uh, describes. People think that this is uh, a joke, but it's real. It's our uh, corporate map, which is um, giving us a headache too, not just you. So the interaction of old-fashioned and very new um, aspects or branches like you see here um, the PR corporate identity um, which are coming from the corporate world um, but also traditional things from the art world like shows like when we decided to do shows in traditional museums we also made the decision to play with this specific idea of the show and the, the, the thing that it stands for. So Itoy is about um, imp generating impact by bringing things together that normally don't belong uh, to each other or that people think don't uh, have a direct connection and we want to um, highlight or trigger sometimes tri trigger new interactions between uh, those fields and we do that in the middle of society we are not you cannot hang etoy on the wall you can hang a nice etoy certificate on your wall that's <laughs> no problem but you cannot really hang the actual artwork on the wall it happens every day now as we talk to you, as we try to convince you to become eToy investors and also to, um, to um, make this virus, the eToy media virus, traveling through Japan, through you. Our comment is also the insanity of the whole system that we create um, with the fizzles that are kind of really um, crazy uh, little objects. You uh, have to see our safe in the, in the, in the um, in the back rooms, there are huge safes with a lot of millions of eToy fizzles that <laughs> represent the eToy Corporation. And um, I would love to just um, smash a few hundreds into the on the floor here. Then you start to uh, experience the the madness of this whole this whole currency system. And that's somehow our comment about um, about the economic world as it is now. F uh, if we live our normal life, it's often just it's there. Money is just here. Since we are, since we um, go to school, we have to deal with money. We buy our little things with money, and it's just here. It's natural almost. And what we do is to show the, uh, that it could be replaced with something else. This 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 interaction between different value systems is kind of uh, hidden often. So what we try is to uh, underline these uh, transactions. Money and shares are the objects of our desire, but art is what we would kill for. Itoy is a group of surreal business people. We are in the business of um, playing with corporate giants, with um, exciting playgrounds on the internet. Itoy was always the group that represented the, like a very commercial image. Some people thought it's irony, others thought we are just jerks uh, who want to make a lot of cash. And it's both true. I mean, we don't make a separation between art and commerce. The American dot-com retail giant Etoys Inc. was one of the bright stars of the new economy. A toy shop with no shops, just a website and a warehouse. There was just one small hitch. E -E -O -Y. An obscure Zurich-based art group called eToy, without an S, which already had the rights to the domain name eToy.com. The company thought half a million dollars US should be enough to buy them off. Our response to the first offer they made was a smiley face, an ASCII smiley face, which basically said, fuck off, we don't accept such a deal. If you want to do business with us, you have to be much more serious. After we rejected several offers, they showed us that they will sue if you don't sell. With the help of an American uh, court, they cut off 
our website first and later even the email system of the eToy Corporation. At this point, the toy war started. It was only a battle over a domain name after all. But for cyber activists, it was really about freedom on the internet. Only weeks before, many of the same people had taken part in the eHippie Seattle protest. Now, tens of thousands joined in a massive online swarm to bring down the toy company. What occurred was a decision to kind of strike at eToys at the height of Christmas, like 12 days of Christmas action, you might say, um, where we would start uh, having multi-mirrors around the globe doing a virtual sit-in on their site. We had uh, some people from hell.com doing psychological operations on the trading boards, telling people how bad uh, this was going. RT Mark was sending out uh, via their massive email list propaganda about destroying eToys.com. Uh, the game was to bring their $84 uh, share value down to zero in 12 days. There were very interesting weapons. One interesting weapon was developed by an American uh, software engineer. It was very anonymous. It allowed people to create virtual shoppers. What the script did in the Floodnet manner of reloading was it reloaded a process of shopping. So it went through the entire arc of buying randomly, you know, different objects, going all the way to the cash register, about to finish filling out the, the cash register form and then canceling out of it and restarting again. Now, by the third or fourth day of the action, uh, there was news reports that eToys.com was the most difficult site to order anything on. You could stay at home and your virtual shopper was doing your work and you could do, take a bus or anything, whatever you wanted. That was the first time you don't have to go to a demonstration like in the 80s. So it was fantastic to go for a walk and you know your toy soldier is fighting now against this big, huge company who wants to play with us, actually. After exactly 81 days, Toy War was over. The whole thing became a disaster for their company. The share price crashed. So they lost more than $4 billion within three months. In March 2001, eToys Incorporated filed for bankruptcy. The eToys conflict uh, that occurred was a very significant event. The fact that the company did shut down, it was proof of concept. It demonstrated that a group of people taking part in a virtual protest, a cyber action, could impact a, a very large and, and uh, well-off corporation at that point in time. And I think what it's done is it's, it's kind of swelled the ranks, or if, you, if you will, or, and served as a great morale booster for all of the actions that have followed since. Po eni strani se eToy drži sloves medijskih sabotarjev, po drugi pa internetnih kriminalcev. Resnica po njihovih besedah tiči drugje. Wish I had bought shares in Microsoft in 1985. Here's a second chance. Invest in eToy. Lots of people see eToy as an as an internet art group, but that's not really what we are. Um, we utilize the internet because it is a very efficient way of uh, disseminating our message. Um, but we're not wedded to the internet. If the internet goes goes away, uh, that doesn't mean that eToy will go away. And uh, we're right now ac actually exploring um, uh, new communication technologies, communication media that uh, we could uh, use to our advantage. Certainly wireless technologies, for instance, will be very important in the future. Uh, so maybe in five years, eToy will be a wireless art group, a wireless corporation. Etoy is a corporation now with 2,096 uh, shareholders, so people owning in different ways and different amounts uh, part of uh, the assets, of the idea, of the concept. Uh, a part of them, mainly the agents, 
Uh, you see the agents here, some of them are working actively uh, on the concept, so producing uh, actions, entertaining actions on the net for eToy. And the other ones are, so the, the traditional shareholders are activated from time to time, uh, at least twice a year for votings, so shareholder meetings where important strategic decisions are made and submitted. So like where, where to invest and uh, in which direction to go, which topic is interesting to us and so on and so on. And so on. The eToy Corporation is burning venture capital to increase culture value. That means through our actions we uh, produce culture value. That means we um, increase the um, interest in the eToy Corporation and in the topics we work with. eToy is not about faking something. It's not about finding market who believes in eToy. It's about uh, addressing some topics to people that are spread worldwide and uh, that can understand the concept can uh, work with it, can invest, invest or live with it. Investors don't understand eToy, they like eToy. So it's not about understanding, it's about playing with this model. And um, people who invest in eToy are people who uh, like to play and like to learn about um, this experiment. eToy is absolutely not about sabotage. We are infecting the world with our codes. We are changing the world, we are not destroying anything. We're just rebuilding or reprogramming the things. The risk uh, that you will be misunderstood somehow is programmed. It happened uh, in 96 with digital hijack. I mean, when you communicate an action, people uh, get the first message normally. If the digital hijack was understood as hacking, for example, it took us four years to uh, tell or make it clear that it was a bit more, much more complex than just hacking. It wasn't about intrusions and stuff like this. This was uninteresting uh, cyberpunk uh, things uh, from coming from the 80s. We were not coming from the 80s. We were way too young for this. Ito is protecting its brand and with our actions and products and services we trigger a lot of controversial discussions. So. Always, if you do something big, a lot of misunderstandings are uh, programmed. So that's just a natural reaction. The bigger uh, an operation uh, gets, the more people perceive it in a, in a twisted way. But um, that's just media reality. We have to um, deal with that. And it's obvious that we sometimes, because of the controversial um, operations, have some legal disputes. But that's very common for other companies as well several layers of understanding in an action and uh, we, I mean it's our speciality to work to deal with this mechanism so we are not frustrated if, in, if it's in the first time just the first simple-minded message comes through to the big public. We take our time afterwards to uh, push the idea further and uh, make or infect the, the community that arises around such phenomena like toy war with the suspicion that maybe it wasn't that simple as it looked like in the first, the first moment. There was a lot of long nights, uh, a lot of um, stress, certainly. Um, but it was also a very exhilarating experience. Of course, as a corporation, we weren't at liberty to um, to, uh, to take the kinds of actions that others were going to take on, on our behalf or even endorse them, right? I mean, legal counsel uh, just said, you know, we can't say uh, hack e-toys or anything like that. Exciting and fascinating aspect of Toy War was the fact that we worked on many, many different layers. So there were the, the, the legal layers, we had to um, represent our system and ideas in court, which was very um, uh, difficult from time to time. We had to explain the whole eToy share concept, for instance. The eToys company tried to accuse us for security fraud, which failed terribly. Um, all our investors are proud investors. They don't feel like screwed up or something like that. Um, on the other level, we had to um, turn this whole resistance activities 
into a brand itself, into a action that became famous and that was uh, reported in all the media. So we gave Toy War, this, this whole uh, activities, a face and an identity. We um, produced uh, platforms, programs that made it easy for people to identify online with this whole process of protecting the brand. We built these toy armies and these structures and people felt very excited about being represented online with these little characters, the spies that gathered information from eToys, uh, from the eToys company, like email addresses from their employees and so on, or the DJ toys who produced music, lullabies for the battlefields. eToy Corporation added entertainment value to the whole story of Toy War and turned it into a brand itself. Since we don't have any actual uh, labor or capital. Um, most of the most of the controversial aspects of globalization, like labor, uh, sweatshops, free trade, those sorts of things, um, are, don't don't really touch us. So, what we stand for, or what we want to be part of, is a, a process of internationalization. Some people um, mix us up with the um, traditional net art scene that totally rejects the idea of. Uh, all these legal aspects. We work with legal aspects. We are placed in the middle of society. The law is um, a, a part of the, the rules that surround us and um, we work with them. We try to twist them or to change them somehow but it is always about thinking in this in this in the, in the kind of the same uh, we, we start at the same um, starting point and one of our uh, crew members is a lawyer and we work with 12 uh, uh, different advisors. We think that uh, the whole copyleft and open source um, scene is a really interesting uh, aspect of uh, our time. But those visions are legal visions. They are not um, about saying that everything is for free, that everything can uh, happen, that everybody can use everything for whatever person wants or the company wants. Uh, it's much more complex. It's a, uh, if you, for instance, have a closer look at copyleft contracts, it's a, it's a complex set of rules that makes it possible to exchange things uh, without um, uh, exchanging uh, financial resources but there are a lot of rules uh, connected to those contracts. Money and shares are the objects of our desire. Art is what we will kill for. Ancient Nemesis from Ljubljana.